Like and subscribe to Barbell Nomad. Mate, are you special? You're supposed to you're supposed to jump then say it when you come up. Are you special yeah, needs? Just... That's exactly what you did last time. I are you special that. needs? Suplex, you wanna see a suplex? No, like, Ian, watch this not, suplex. No, like, sister. <laughs> How was your suplex, love? Stop doing that. That was a one-arm suplex, mate. This is like, are you going to fill up your drink and take it? I was asking peasant shit. And she's like, Joy did it, and now I'm in trouble because <laughs> I said that. Hello, mate. Hello. We saw a statistic that YouTube sent us a statistic that 50% of Americans watch us with subtitles and America's who watches <coughs> us the most and actually New York is probably New York is the city that watches us the most and that's the city I talk most shit about New York because I no, no offense brother but most of the people I met from New York have been complete dickheads mate they've been like really unfriendly and they're going from New York I'm like oh is that license to be a dickhead is it so um, it just seems like they, it just seems like really a little rude, mate. It seems like a little rude. A little curt, mate. They're a little curt, you know? A little obtuse. They're a little obtuse. And then, like you say, you know, well, what's with this guy's attitude? And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm from New York. Like, I met a New Yorker here, right? And he goes, are you, he goes, are you Australian? And I said, yeah. He goes, oh, I could tell you're walking around like this, you know? I was like, do Australians walk around like that? I was like, yeah. I was gonna say, I could tell you in New Yorker because you're a cunt. So, but I didn't say that because I'm a nice guy. This has got uh, like a F-U-C-K and a finger sticking up on the back of his plate. What a rebel, brah. What a rebel on his little moped. There you go, mate. There you go, we've got a little rebel. Live Jesus, Jesus in, in our hearts. hearts. Forever drive, drive safe. safe. Must be a cunt. <laughs> does it say cunt? I will come continue in a kid. Oh, no, does, oh the, my god, to do all my action for not the getting cool as a pedo, not getting cool as a pedo, bro, for not getting cool as a bro. Okay. No, it's very struck. struck. You should beep him, just be like, calm. So one of our subscribers, right? He's like, oh, Ian's part of the Yiddish Masonic, uh, the, Yidd the Yiddish Masonic movement is paying him to spread misinformation about the Catholic Church. So I went to chat GPT, right? And I was like, give me every case. Oh, you're checking. Yeah. You're checking the son of God's car. Oh, you You're go. not going to heaven, brother. He didn't put that sign there for you to doubt him. He's probably a terrorist, but it's probably a son of love's brother, right? So, so, um, so I, I said to ChatGPT, tell me every case of Catholic uh, child abuse ever. ChatGPT gave it all to me, right? And then it, it cut it out and said, oh, this is against our usage policy. So what, ChatGPT, you're trying to protect pedos, right? Anyway, it, it came up with it. I cut and paste it, and then I put in the comments. This is what I do when people ask for money from the Catholic Church. I have a cut and paste of every single case of, um, of uh, you know, like uh, child abuse from the Catholic Church, and I just send them that. I just send them that, That's right? And guess, guess where, guess where the lion's share of the cases are? The Philippines, mate. Philippines. Although. From, from 1950 to 2010, 7% of Catholic priests were pedos, brother. Pedos. That means one in a hundred were pedos. One in a hundred, that means, sorry, seven in a hundred were pedos, brother. Like, that's, that's bloody insane, mate. That's insanity, right? That's absolutely insanity. I cracked a joke yesterday about 
Jessica being. Stop saying that. Why do you have to put that there? Okay. Jessica okay. being dark stop and. It, Ian. Uh, okay, her sister being light, and I got yeah, tampo for twelve hours. What? You know, if you put it on the thing, you, you're gonna get in trouble. Stop it, please. Okay. It's not funny. All right. Don't stop tempo. it. Girl. Elaine's on a hot date. So, you know, I don't know if you know that. Elaine's on a hot date. Quiz her. What? I'm just being a snitch, brother. Being a snitch. What's that? Pee yeah, I pee myself. Golden shower bar. It's your kink, isn't it? Teach your own. Okay, this is Costco. Yeah, we're new. It's Craig. Hi, hey, how are you? Hey. Hey, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, love. Hey. Hey. Okay, so here we are. We're at Costco. Pizza. So we're sitting here on a Costco card. I like lasagna, I like Western food, just because like you can't read really microwave lasagna. She doesn't know, mate. She just knows about rice and fish and stuff, but she doesn't know about lasagna, mate. She doesn't know. So I'm like, of course you can, just you buy lasagna, you put it in the microwave. I don't know why they don't have an oven, mate. I'm not sure why they don't have an oven. No, it's, it's a bit weird, but they just don't they cook oven stuff, you know? It's kind of strange, but there you go. What's this? Wheatgrass. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm alright bro. Sir. Hey, how are you? So, chips. Oh, potato chips. Well, I've, I've tasted wheatgrass and potato chips, so I need to taste them again. Hey, hello. This kid was screaming. He saw me screamed. Hey, hey how are you? Hey. Hey, how are you been to Thailand? Yeah, See, dancing. dancing. Ah. You do kickboxing? Kickboxing, no. Kickboxing? kickboxing. Oi. <laughs> I won't mess with you. Alright. Okay, lasagna hunt continues. Cause she's like, oh, let's 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 go and just get lasagna out, mate. Filipino restaurants don't get good lasagna. Like, forget about that. I want to go somewhere like this, mate. Like, look at these cheesecakes. That's one blessing is Costco's here. Like, you know, it's kind of American stuff, so it's good. I did not find lasagna. That looks disgusting. Corn dogs. Oh, yeah, that looks bloody disgusting. I've never seen that in Australia. Never seen it. Chocolate vanilla, boom, boom, boom. Stop smacking my ass, annoying. She's annoying. Oreo, love, you're a reverse Oreo. Love, can you send me, enjoy, you're a reverse Oreo. That lasagna is $5, right? In this country, that lasagna is $23, right? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's really worth buying, to be honest with you. Might as well get some pizza. So, we'll see. What's that roll I like, love? Love, what's that roll? That Ala, like, what's it? Louisiana roll. Yeah, you got this thing called a Louisiana roll. I might just get one of those. It's pretty good. That's like 30 bucks. All these M&Ms. That's pretty good value. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at these. Yeah, a lot of M&Ms, It's 30 dollars. Love, come on. Let's go eat some pizza. I'm starving. Let's get some pizza. No, You're not eating joy. Cheesecake. Uh -huh. cheesecake, no? cheesecake. Ah, they're eating cheesecake. There you go. Destroyed. What's this thing called? Bacon. What's this thing called? Bacon and chicken. What is it? Bacon and chicken. Louisiana roll, right? Bacon and chicken roll. Boom. Mm. Mm. You guys want Look, me and Joy. I mean you. Did you make them dinner? Mmm. Okay. I just got a piece of cheesecake as well. One more bite, one more bite. One more bite, one more bite, one more bite. That was good. That's good. This is like, are you going to fill up your drink and take it? I was asking peasant shit. And she's like, Joy did it, and now I'm in trouble because <laughs> I said that. Sure, but there's a lid. Mm, relax, up. Mate, that was a bloody good feed. I had um I had a pizza, some roll with like cheese and bacon and 
just got cheesecake and ice cream with chocolate brownies in it. Damn, that was a good feed, bro. That was a good feed. The Americans keep complaining they can't understand what I'm saying. I mean, you could probably figure it out. Feed is food, right? Like, you can probably figure it out, mate. You can't figure it out, like. Joy's my favorite sister because Elaine spends too much time in the bathroom. So Joy's got the favorite sister spot right now. But if Elaine spends less time in the bathroom, it's gonna be a battle, okay? You might not retain your spot. How you going, lovey? Um, so basically, my son, right? He was watching um, watching the vlog. And then <coughs> Jessica was talking about how she wears red and they chase the bulls. And my son says, is JP part of that? Because what's he gonna do? Code his way up the tree? Like he's a coder, he's gonna like code his way up the tree? Which I thought was incredibly funny, right? Because he's not very athletic. But yeah, I just find it rude, mate. If I message you, you don't message me back. Like I've got a problem, mate. I've got a problem with that, right? I just find it very rude, right? Don't you find that rude, love? If you message someone that I message you back? Like you're so busy, you're so busy, you're a bloody college, mate. Like you're so busy, you can't message me back. I message you, mate, you can't message me back. What a load of bullshit. What was that? What's that, love? Check out this traffic, mate. Ah, it's a bit of a shocker. Our traffic's a bit of a shocker. I'm missing big hole. Hardly any traffic at all. The cops, brother. Pen, jeez, man. Check it out. Yeah, with Jessica. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Hello. Why are, we, why are we going to some more? Because we're going to go get some rendang recipe. We're, getting, we're making beef rendang. And if you're like, isn't that from Indonesia? Yeah, it is from Indonesia. And we're in the Philippines. But the Philippines here is mainly pork and vinegar. So we, we're we going Indonesian, brother. Or Malaysian, depending on who you speak to. But I think rendang's from Indonesia. There you go. Fried rice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and some ballas. Oh, What's yes. that thing called? Some ballas. Yeah. It's like, Sambalas. what is it? Just describe. Tell them what it's it is. It's just chili paste. Literally, just chili, and they made a bit of a salt and stuff in, in it. Like, it's like chili oh, it's paste. bloody gangster. It's like this. So uh, it's like this. Um, chili sauce. Yeah, man. It's bloody gangster. It's bloody gangster. Some ballas. What's it called? Some ballas. Sambal. So you have that. You have rice rundown. And love, you got to slow cook the run down, don't be too quick yeah, on it, alright? Even if it's, don't serve it tonight. But I'm not tonight. cooking it tonight, am I? Well, you should cook it tonight for tomorrow. Love, I'm going to, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to the gym to swim, yeah? See you, bro. Oh, see ya. That's so rude. Did you hear what she said? Save Justin Trudeau, Canada, help me. Save Justin me. Trudeau. Please help. Help me. Help me. Or send your boyfriend to help me, Justin Trudeau. Right? Check it out, bruh. A little restaurant there. Check it out. Philippines, brother. Fearless. Oh my god. What a what a revelation that t-shirt is, eh? Huh? Huh? Did you see that and thought, I should fear less in my life? So this artist, right? He's like, oh you want to date young girls, but you don't bring anything to the table. So I went to have a look at his art. And he's selling his art for 300 euros. And I was like, brother, listen, you're selling your art for 300 euros. The time it takes to paint it. You'd earn more at McDonald's. Look. He's bringing art on the table, love. It's life. Yeah, I was like, listen, brother, listen. Your mum has been telling you, your dad's been telling you, get a real job, quit the art thing, or you're terrible enough to become an art teacher and victimize kids, right? So this other guy was like, oh, listen to the way this guy speaks. He thinks he's educated, but he speaks like a bogan. And I just, all I do is I take his comment and I run it through Jack GPT and I say, correct all grammar. And then I just send it back to him, like, this is all your grammatical mistakes. And it gives like 15 grammatical mistakes. So it makes me sound like I'm very smart, brother. Right, lovey? Yeah. But I only- I they can't understand you. I only respond to haters, like on the weekends, because I'm usually, because I work, when it's work week, I just don't have time. I've never posted a YouTube comment, never. Not one, never. Never. I've replied, but I've never posted one. I've never posted a YouTube comment. Um, who? Who? Who did I post a YouTube comment to? Yeah, jiu -jitsu stuff. To who? Jiu Jitsu. Oh, I'll maybe a question. I might say like, uh, like there was this. I got so I was wrestling this guy. I did Jiu Jitsu, right? 
This guy got me this bloody thing called the electric chair. I didn't know what it was called. But I was winning, mate. I had him down, he's in half guards passing. Suddenly he split my legs open, right? He split my legs open, and I was like, ah, tap, 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 tap. I'm like a little girl, brother. Um, and I was like, what the hell is that? Anyway, it was like, oh, you know, it's an Eddie Bravo thing. Anyway, I had to look it up, and I, I found it, but I was like, what is this called? What is this called? Like the, I knew the thing was called a banana split, so I posted a comment there. I was like, can someone help me? I got, to, unless it's me getting tapped, if I get tapped with something, then I, I'm obsessively trying to figure out what, what I got tapped with. I got tapped, I thought this guy, he's a, he's a BJJ world champion, and I was doing really well, he couldn't take me down, I couldn't take him down, and then he got me, we were in geese, right? He got me in this judo choke, it's called a canto choke, where he, he jumped to the ground, spun like an arm lock, and I thought, what's this idiot doing? He's trying to get an arm lock, I've, my arm's out. And then I was tapping, because he just, he pulled my gi, and he threw, he threw his legs on my head. I was like, ah, tapping again like a little girl, brother. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, whenever something happens to me, when I'm obsessed, I, I'm like writing it down, researching it, I make a playlist on it. And usually whatever happens to me, that becomes part of my arsenal, and I'm able to do that to other people, right? Like, this guy, Judo you know, Steve, he's actually in the Philippines, right? But we wrestled like 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, right? And he ankle picked me. I'd never even seen it, right? He ankle picked me and he screwed my ankle up. We were going to a party and I was on crutches that night uh, and I had ice on my knee. We went to this party, I was on crutches, I had ice on my knee, right? And i just been ankle picking everyone ever since. And since he did that to me and he put, oh, I had to have ice on my knee. And I get a lot of judokas with it. I get a lot of judo, even black belts, man. I get black belts with it, right? I have been choked doing it a couple of times. So I've got to be careful. But yeah, so whenever someone does something to you, that's why a lot of training in jiu-jitsu is by osmosis, meaning something happens to you and then you're able to do it to other people. But watching instructionals is good as well, you know? I have to be honest, I haven't trained much since cancer. I've only watched instructionals, but I have made a lot of progress, you know? Um, so yeah. So I'm jumping between these four gyms, right? So there's my son's gym in Australia. I'm training there a bit. And then there's a gym in Lippa. I'm gonna be training there a bit. I have trained there. I've only trained there once, right? But went to a big hole. And then there's a gym in Pattaya, which I'm gonna be training in as well. Nice guy from Facebook. I know a couple of guys in Pattaya, right? So I'm jumping between these three gyms, right? So, I don't know, mate. I, I, like someone says, oh, I'm not saying, like, I'm a blue belt, right? I've been a blue, I was a white belt for like 12 years. I was a blue belt for like 10 years, because I'm a wrestler. So, I, with Jiu Jitsu, I, I don't put, spend enough time on my back. I need to be more, make more of a commitment to be on my back. But if someone gives me a purple belt, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, this isn't really my gym, you know? Like, I can't get a purple belt in the Philippines, because they're only purple belts, right? So they can't, a purple belt, I can't really give me a purple belt. So it has to be a black belt to give me a purple belt. Anyway, so my purple belt is my next thing, right? That's my next goal. So purple belt, finish the diploma in real estate, finish my postgraduate diploma and my master's degree, which I've got. So I'll have, once I finish the postgraduate diploma. So guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and <coughs> hit the notification button so you're always updated with our blogs. And see you in the next vlog. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.